Okay, hey my people, how are you doing? It's been long. Karibu tena, welcome back to another, yet another video and welcome to Zawadi Rose channel. And just as I had promised uh, last year, I was to start a Kikuyu channel and it, uh, I, I started it. Zawadi Rose Kikuyu channel is on, you can check it out for those who are interested in videos um in the Gikuyu language so there are already two videos up there and still about malindi buying land in malindi there are two videos there so you're welcome uh you can check that check that channel out and you can subscribe like and share those videos i really really appreciate for those who uh found have found videos in this channel particularly about buying land in malindi and you really communicated Big up, thank you so much. People like Peter, people like Edwin, Grace from Nairobi, Fatuma from Garissa. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And it makes me feel that I'm really doing something important. And thank you for those who have shown interest in uh, purchasing land. Uh, I know we're going to meet up soon. And I, I, I believe that your life is going to change. Yes, I believe that my videos are changing your life in one way or the other. Now, giving out information or giving the right information is my first priority because it's better I tell you the truth. You choose not to buy land because, you know, those have told you the truth. Rather than I lie to you, tell you the land is I don't know where, the price is I don't know which one, and then you end up getting what you didn't, uh, uh, what you didn't begin for. So once again, I'm here to give you information. And if you have any questions, I have, uh, I'll be leaving my WhatsApp number down in the description box uh, or in the comment section you can reach out to me by whatsapp and i'm not on instagram for now so i'll be answering those questions or if you need any information i'll be providing that information now today before i talk and talk and talk huh, i want to talk about some of the lucrative or profitable businesses that you can do here in Malindi, and believe you me, I love this place. I love Malindi so much. It's, it was my, it's my dream place, huh? and I'm happy to be here. Now, I want to talk about the businesses that you can do, or maybe uh, some will find them maybe a bit, ex uh, a bit expensive to start. But then again, it depends. People have money out there; they just don't know where to place their money. And I want to tell you that this is the right place to bring or to put your money. You can never go wrong investing here. And the business number one, and it's something that I've talked about before, number one is farming. Yes. Now, you know that Malindi, uh, the coastal region, is hot. It's very hot. And there are, just, uh, there are two rainy seasons, which are short seasons. You know, short rains, that is. So, there is a problem with food. Most of the food that we buy here in the coastal region, especially things like uh, foods like beans, comes from Bara or comes from other regions of the country. Most of the food crops like maize does, uh, doesn't come from around this place because people don't farm that much. Now, what am I trying to say? If you can get a piece of land, and in my other video I talked about the various places where you can buy land, and I said if you want to to farm throughout the year then it's better for you or it's good for you to buy land near the, the river okay near river sabaki that way you'll be able to do irrigation farming throughout the year meaning you'll have food crops throughout the year and you can be able to supply foodstuffs to the towns or to the near to the nearby towns throughout the year you can never go wrong farming maize you can never go wrong farming dengue we call them pojo here you can never go wrong farming pineapples, farming um, water fruits like watermelon. You can never go wrong. So farming is one of the very profitable businesses that you can do here as, as long as you have some good starting capital. If you want more details about that because of time, you can look out for me. You can reach out and I'll give you more information how you can go about it. And then number two profitable business that you can do. I talk about the Salagate Bypass because I said that is my location and that is the area that I'm familiar with. I don't talk about Magarini or Marereni because I'm not there and I've not been there. 
the other business you can do is along Salagate bypass. I said Salagate bypass is uh, the, the highway between the highway from Malindi town to Savo East National Park. What does that tell you? Lots of tourists. Yes, there are lots of tourists coming uh, coming from Mombasa Kilifi all the way to Savo East National Park. So the other business you can do is something like a curio shop. You can start off a curio shop. That is selling artifacts. You know that the tourists are interested in buying souvenirs, lovely things from Africa. You know, so you can put up a simple curio shop. You don't have to put up uh, millions, uh, a curio shop worth millions of shillings. You can just get some nice some sculptures, some baskets, some uh, you know lovely African attires, uh, some paintings. As long as they depict the African theme. And you can stock them. You can start with as low as 30,000 shillings or even 20,000 shillings. You know, they, they love simple things, chain, uh, what do you call them? Necklaces that are African, anything that is African. And believe you me, you can never go wrong. And something else that I must tell you there are very few curio shops along the Salagate Bypass. Why? Because this highway was started, I think, around five years ago. So business, businesses are not as many as you would think. So it's a very good place to start off your business. Yes, yes. Grow with the towns. Grow with the towns. And, you know, you're going to make a mark for yourself. And when they identify, I, I know of one curio shop, calling the Emma Curio Shop and tourists flock there every other day and I pass by there and I'm like wow I wish I owned that business so it's one uh, it's another business that I know you can do comfortably as long as you're able to communicate because you need to be able to communicate you need to, to you know have a nice display of your items be able to have the PR the customer service and everything else is just going to be perfect you're going to do some good businesses some good business now which other business can you do business number three if you have some good money people talk every day about airbnb 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 if you have some good capital because there are people who have a lot of money and they don't know where to put their money into you can buy a piece of land maybe just a plot of land build some nice airbnbs and then Start of your business. You know, they, they are the most advantageous. Uh, that is one of the most advantageous business that you can do. Because Airbnbs are not like rentals where you they pay you at the end of the month. This is a place where someone rents maybe for a week with the family. And the charges are always high. So it's a, another very, very good business that you can start off with if you have some good money. Or some good amount of money that is. Now, talking about rentals. Along the Salagate Bypass, let me talk about a place called Baulala, the, the one town where there is um, Wero Technical College. It's, it's now the most famous town now, Baulala. Uh, it's an upcoming town. And here, because of the presence of the college, you know that students have needs. The college itself doesn't have enough hostels for the students. It's a technical college, so they don't have enough uh hostels for the students so how about you buy land somewhere close to Baul uh, Weru technical college put up some nice hostels or and rent them out to the students or you can just uh, or you can put up some nice one bedroom bed sitters two bedrooms and there are students who prefer to buy uh, to rent out a bed sitter rather than pay for the college hostels because definitely college hostels are expensive. So the same amount they would pay for a single room for the college hostel is in, is the same amount they would pay for a bed sitter. If you have a bed sitter that you will charge something like four thousand shillings, honestly, 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 and like you have ten of them, that is forty thousand shillings at the end of the month. Isn't that good business? And this is a business that is going to grow over the years. As you know, properties or the real estate industry doesn't go down. With every other year, your rent will be going up and up. You can do the one bedrooms, the two bedrooms for the teachers who are there. And Marquis, it's not just the college because there are also primary schools around. There are also high schools around. So there are teachers from different parts of the country that are posted here. 
so they will need house nice houses to live in and believe you me there are very few such businesses in Bauras. okay yes so you will never go wrong buying land and doing the you know the rent houses you will never ever go wrong never go wrong and the best thing is that there's electricity there's constant supply of water yes now that's another very good business that you can do. I think that that's business number four. Yes, another business that I want to talk about. And it's the last one for now. But if you want more ideas, then maybe I can be talking about them. Remember, I said that I'm here to just give you information, the kind of information that you would want, that you want, and the kind of information that will help you, so that once you buy land here, you not be stronger than thinking. So what am I supposed to do? with this piece of land that i have bought so remember i've talked about farming i've talked about airbnbs i've talked about you can do rentals i've talked about you can do a curio shop and something else that you can do i talked about students along who are based in baulala you can do shoes and clothes business that is a boutique you can put up a boutique and because i'm very specific about baulala in this particular uh, business or area surrounding Baulala, then if you do a boutique because of the presence of the students, they will want clothes every other day. They will want shoes every other day. You, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm already jumping into another business idea, but that is another very good business that you can do, and not just in Baulala, but also in other these other small towns that are based along the Salagate Bypass. So assuming you've been able to buy your nice piece of land somewhere close to at the other center, because remember it's a small town, it's a growing town, so there are still plots of land uh, within Baulala, and you start up your boutique there. You will not have the expenses of paying rent every other month, and the other advantage is you will have students flocking in there because you have enough space. You can build, um, you can make your place be as spacious as possible. You can exp expand your business. As much as you want you can even include something else along with the boutique like drinks soft drinks and stuff like that but I'll give you another bonus business idea and remember I've mixed businesses you can do with very little capital and businesses you can do with some good amount of money now how about you do a cold drinks business that is so obvious because this place is hot I know I have a scarf on the reason is because it's a rainy season and it's a bit cold but even if it's cold when i step outside it's very hot it's very warm so uh, throughout the year people buy cold drinks you'll sell water you buy sodas you'll sell ice cream you'll sell juices and all those kinds of cold drinks that you would want to sell and by the way even the the the, um, the tourists do buy them so those are some of the businesses that i think that i know that you can do and they can give you good money remember some of them you don't need a lot of money like the soft drinks business you don't need a lot of money for the boutique you don't need a lot of money you can just start off with like 20k a few clothes and remember you don't sell jackets you know they're just light clothes they don't cost much look for the not very expensive clothes stock them up and start off your business by faith i hope this information has been helpful and if you want me to talk about something else please drop a comment if there's a topic that you'd want me to discuss about malindi anything you want to know about either businesses in malindi buying land in malindi please let me know in the comment section and you can also reach out via my whatsapp I'll, i'm always ready to answer your questions once again big up to all those people who have subscribed to the new subscribers karibu sana and if you've not subscribed and you find my videos helpful or this particular video helpful please subscribe like and share the video i really 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 appreciate god bless you see you in my next video i'm zawadi rose signing out